Hi everyone, I am Katie, the Crafty Vlog Stacker, and today I'm going to show you how to create a single word cutout in Cricut Design Space that you can then cut out with your Cricut machine. So here I am on Cricut Design Space. Now I am currently on my Mac, but if you are on the app on your device, it may look a little bit different, but it's still, you're still gonna use the same prompts. The buttons just might be in a different place. So I'm going to come over here to new project and we're just gonna go ahead and replace that. And that takes me to my canvas. Now the first thing I want to do is create my word. Now I'm gonna be doing my name. So I'm just gonna type that in. I'm gonna be doing this for all of the people in my family. So I'm gonna be making six ornaments, but I'm just gonna show you here with my name. So I've got my name typed in right there. Now I wanna come up here and select the font. Now the font that I am going to use is not a Cricut font. This is a font that I downloaded myself off of the internet. If you want to use this same font, it's called Dolly Script, and you can find it right here at defont.com. So just download it, install it into your computer, and then Cricut Design Space will pull all of your saved fonts, and you can use those as well. All right, so now we've got my name. Whoops, so I'm just gonna move it up here. I wanna make it a little bit bigger. I can always readjust the size later, but just to, uh, for right now, makes it easier. And I'm gonna line this up on a line, okay? Right there. Now the first thing I want to do is highlight the name, and I'm gonna click over here on ungroup. Okay, now that is going to make each of these letters individual, and I can move them around however I want. So now I'm just going to take all my letters and kind of squish them together so they're overlapping. Keeping an eye of my baseline there. Whoops. And scooting them together like that. So there's my name. Now they look all connected. Okay, they look connected, but inside uh, Cricut Design Space, they are still each showing as their own cut file. So now what we want to do is weld them. Okay, we're going to weld them together. I highlight all of the pieces, all of the letters together right there, and then I come down here and click on Weld. Now when I weld, that is going to make this one complete cut. You can see over here uh, where you can see the small little image that it is one cut. I can no longer ungroup because it is just one image. And then of course I can still size to whatever size I want it to be for my cut. And then to make my project, all I have to do is click here and make it. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I'd love for you to follow my YouTube channel so you never miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials. And as always, thank you for joining me today, you guys. Happy crafting! Bye!